In this video, we'll draw the resonance structures for N2O. This is dinitrogen monoxide. It's also called nitrous oxide. So let's first count up the electrons, then draw some resonance structures. Nitrogen is in group 15, sometimes called 5A. Five valence electrons, we have two nitrogen atoms. Oxygen's in group 16, so we have six. So we have a total of 16 valence electrons for this N2O Lewis structure. So nitrogen is less electronegative. So we're going to put the nitrogen in the center, the oxygen on this side here, and then we'll put the other nitrogen over here. So this is our skeleton for our Lewis structure. Let's put electrons between atoms. That'll form our chemical bond here. So we've used up two. We have 12 more. Complete the octet on the oxygen. We've used 10. So let's complete the octet on this nitrogen, 10, 12. 14, and then 16. But you can see the central nitrogen does not have an octet. So we can move two here. That gets us closer. We still have an octet here. We have six. Let's move two here. And at this point, we have a valid Lewis structure. If we calculate the formal charges for each atom, this is what we get. So this is pretty good. We'd rather have everything zero, but this is close. There is another way to draw this. It would be a resonance structure of N2O. So let's do that. We could have a triple bond here and then a single bond on the oxygen. Let's try that. So we can move this over here and then we can move this pair to form a triple bond. So this is also a valid Lewis structure. We have eight valence electrons here, eight here and eight here. We're using 16. Let's write the formal charges in for this structure. So it doesn't look that different. We have a plus one and a minus one, but there is a key difference, and that's that oxygen is more electronegative. So when we have formal charges, it's best to have the negative formal charge on the more electronegative element. So here we have oxygen, it's more electronegative. It has the negative formal charge. Over here, we have the negative formal charge on the nitrogen, the oxygen zero. So this structure is actually a more favorable or a more stable resonance structure of N2O. There's one more we can draw. That'll look like this. So with this structure, we do have an octet for the nitrogens and the oxygen, but we have this negative two formal charge on this nitrogen. The oxygen has a positive formal charge. This really isn't a very stable structure. So there are two major resonance structures for N2O, and we'll often put this little arrow between them to show that they're resonance structures. It doesn't mean they're switching back and forth. It just means they're an average of these structures. So we only would have one structure in reality that would just be an average of these. And most of it would be this resonance structure here because the formal charges make the most sense, the negatives on the oxygen, and then we have all the octets satisfied. So this is the major resonance structure. This would be a minor structure, and this would be a very, very minor structure, if even at all. This is Dr. B with the resonance structures for N2O, nitrous oxide. Thanks for watching.